Hey guys, uh, this is the uh, 16 tone music box that you get from China. And it's got, uh, let me show you here. Uh, it's very hard because I'm holding a tablet. I don't have any kind of a GoPro or anything like that to do this with. So, let's see. This is the way. Get her open anyways. And, uh, these are the parts, you know. If you get one of these these uh, tone things here. One of the components are this. And this is probably the most difficult part for this kit anyways. So I'm just going to bypass everything else. You can get that in yourself I guess. If you have a problem just let me know. But, uh, this is the hardest part, is this. Now, you can put it in like this, if you're very good at soldering, and because of this one pin being so thin, you can connect it right there, okay? Or, put some, uh, little pieces that you've cut off of your resistors, and use them for uh, some uh, bridges, I guess. And but the back part too has to be done. So you solder here. You solder this part right here. There. Solder that part right there. Solder that one right there. Right there, right there, and right there. Leave it like that, if you can, you know. And then, in the back, you place some pins. In the top, right here and right here. Solder them through, and put them on here. Right there and there, okay? Then one like the board is in here, okay? Like, like I would I would do that to begin with anyways. Like just put those two pins in. Just make two nice long pins, point them out there and bend them and join them together onto these two uh clips there. And then I would work on soldering it like this. Right, like that. Okay, just make sure it's it's nice and straight. And you can do it. You don't need to have to put the pins in, but you can put the pins in here. Okay. So anyways, in the back again, uh, just join them there and then put them in the bottom. From the top to there and from the top to there. Okay. This is the hardest part of this. Um, type of project anyways and um, here's one that is actually done and if you can see that one pin that was very hard to try to keep space between those other guys there solder it down and in the back as you see I soldered them on the top, like I said, you know, and took a bridge or a jumper, I guess, whatever, across and put them in the bottom. And instead of putting the uh, other parts in the, at the bottom here, I guess that's for an Arduino. Don't really need to. I just put the uh, positive and negative up inside of here. And uh, what it does is all these switches here, they just, you know, flick them around and create different sounds. 
Uh, I can hook it up and show you one second. It'll have to take a little time here if I can see it um, and do it. Just one sec. Okay. What I've done is just uh, connected it to um, my power supply. I'll turn it up a little bit here. It, it usually, you know, that's why I like a power supply. You can actually adjust your vol voltage, and I'll put it at three and a half, and then I'll mess around with these little buttons here. And it's all very. Uh, very annoying if you want to, you know, annoy your parents or annoy your neighbor. <laughs> it's annoying my birds right now. So, yeah, that's the way you have to do that one single part there, you know, just to make her work. So, I hope you enjoyed the video. Subscribe, and I'll uh, make a few more. Talk to you later.